Hi, Christian is here. Welcome to The Contour, your QGIS guide. If this is your first time to use QGIS and if you haven't downloaded the software yet, I suggest that you go to QGIS.org and download the software. Now, let's go to the download page. Okay, here you can see there is an installer for Windows, for Mac OS X, for Linux and other operating systems. I'm currently using QGIS for Linux. If you're using Windows, uh, download the installer for Windows, but make sure that you will select the right installer for your computer. If you're using Mac OS X, make sure that you will check the web page here for additional information. Now, let's leave this page and go to QGIS. Okay, if this is your first time to open QGIS, you can see here it's still empty. Uh, on top, you have the menu toolbar and additional tools that you can use in QGIS. On your left, you have the layers panel where your data will appear when you add them in QGIS. And here, you have the main uh, panel for viewing your map and I get extra panel here where I can search for additional tools in QGIS if you want to enable this panel all you need to do is to go to the processing tab and click toolbox in QGIS you can input two types of data vector data and raster data vector data are points lines, and polygons, whereas raster data are images. But for this session, we will utilize only vector data, particularly polygons. I will show you how to import, export, and view the information of a particular vector data. So let's begin. If you need the data for this session, you can download it using the link from the description. Now let's look at the data. For this session, we will utilize only the Philippines Administrative Boundary. I have here PHL ADM0 or the extent of the Philippines, ADM1 for provincial boundaries, ADM2 for municipal boundaries, and ADM3 for barangay boundaries. If you want to import this in QGIS, the main file that you will need to check is the .shp, but there are uh, associated files as well for a particular data like this one, ADM0. So you have .dbf file, uh, .prj, and .shx. These files contain additional information for the data. For example, that DBF, it contains a matrix of the data. Or therefore, if you want to copy or if you want to transfer these files from one folder to another, you have to copy all the files with the same name or label. Now, let's go to QGIS. For the first task, we need to import the vector data in QGIS. There are three ways to import vector data. Number one, you can use the layer tab here, add layer and add vector layer. A new window will appear. Here, you need to locate the folder where you save your files. To add the data, click the button here. In my case, I save it in my home folder. Now let's locate the .shp. So I'm going to import ADM0 for now. Click .shp and open. Click add and close. You will see now you have your data in your layers panel. So that's the first method. Now for the second method, you can use the browser tab here below. Now let's click it. In my case, I save my files in my home folder under the contour folder 
and under admin boundary folder, now I got the shape files here. To import it, simply click the .shp file. Now let's click ADM1. Now you imported ADM1 in QGIS. Okay, for the last method and the easiest method is you need to go back to the folder where you save your files and locate the .shp file that you want to import in QGIS. In my case, I'm going to select ADM2 and drag it to my QGIS. And there you go, I have the ADM2 now imported in QGIS. Next, if you want to export your layer or save it to other format, you can simply select the layer from the Layers panel. In my case, I'm going to use ADM0, right-click, and go to Export and Save Feature As. For this window, in order for you to change the format, simply click the button here. Say I want to save it as Keyhole Markup Language or KML. Click here. Now to save the output, simply click the button here and go to the folder where you want to save your file. So in my case, I'm going to save it in my admin boundary folder and name it as ADM or admin 0. Now click save. Now if you want to add automatically the output for this process, simply click the add save file to map option here and click OK. Now you have the exported data here in your layers panel. Alright, so if you want to export your layer and at the same time you want to change the coordinate reference system or CRS, so what is CRS? CRS is basically the transformation that we do in our layers in order to project the real world surface to a two-dimensional uh, surface like our map here. It is essential to know how to convert the CRS because different data will have different CRS. Now when you project it or when you import it in your QGIS, some layers or data may not appear in your current projection. Say we want to transform ADM2 to other CRS. Now let's go back to the layers panel and right click ADM2. Go back again to export and save feature as. Now for this window, we will not change the format. So I'm going to return this to shapefile. Now let's save the output by clicking the button here. I will save the output in my admin boundary folder as ADM to transform. Now click save. To change the CRS, you will see here below that there is a CRS option. You can click the button here to use the recently used CRS. Now if you can find the CRS here, Use the button here, click it, and search for the CRS here. Now, your recently used CRS will appear here. If you don't know the CRS, you can manually search for it below here. Now, I want to change this to UTM-51. You will see the preview map below will change to this. It only indicates that you selected the right CRS for the Philippines. Now let's click OK. Again, if you want to save the output for this process, you can check the option here. Now let's click OK again. OK, now you have the transformed ADM2 here. To check if you really transform the layer, we will compare it with ADM2. To do that, let's click our file again, say ADM2 transform, right click 
and go to properties now here go to the information and check for the CRS now you can see here that we transform the layer to UTM now click OK now let's check ADM2 right click and go to properties as well in here you can see the information under CRS its CRS is WGS84 now we were able to transform our layer to different CRS so click OK to go back to your main window so that's a process on how to export and convert the CRS and finally to view the information contained in your data, we need to go to the attribute table. To do that, say we use ADM2 again, right click, and click open attribute table. Okay, this window shows you the information contained in ADM2, such as the name of the country under name zero column the name of the provinces under name one column and lastly the name of the municipalities under name two column and the rows here represent the polygons or features found on your map in our case we're viewing the municipal boundaries of the Philippines now if you will look at here you have here the different municipalities of the country okay so that's how you view the information in QGIS for the next session I will show you how to extract clip and merge multiple vector data in QGIS if you learn something from this session stay tuned for more tutorials thank you for watching